What is up YouTube? Venthros here coming at you with another tutorial video for RPG Maker. Now, if you were with me last week, you would know that I mentioned that this week's video was going to be addressing a lot of user questions that I've been receiving via email or comments or whatever. As it turns out, a lot of the questions that I've been getting are related to enemies, troops, and areas. So I decided to throw all that together and make this video for you this week, and that's what today is going to be about. So let's get started. As you can see on my map here, let me go to the map mode first, just to show you that I have made a desert, a forest, and a rocky terrain area. And these are three separate areas that in most games would have different types of monsters living in them, and the backgrounds would change appropriately to be in a forest or a desert or wherever you are. How you accomplish this first is you have to de tell the game that you want each area to be separated. And you do that by using the region editing mode. When you click that, you see a bunch of colorful squares here numbered 1 through 63. Use each number to color in your specific area. So I colored the forest in with, I'm sorry, the desert in with 1 the forest in with two, and the rocky area in with number three. Feel free to add many different areas and experiment with it. But this is the first thing you have to do. You have to tell the game, uh, you have to differentiate the areas so that the game knows which one is which. Once you've done that, you're ready to change the map properties to uh, have the different encounters occur. But before we do that, I want to show you the database where you can add or modify different enemies and troops. So open up your database, so hit F9 or click up here. And as you can see, if you click on the enemies tab, this is the screen that comes up. It's a list of all the enemies that RPG Maker already made for you. If you want to add an enemy, as I have, just click change maximum the default maximum is 30. Just go ahead and change it to 31 or however many you want to make. And I made an angel enemy and I did that by clicking because when you uh, when you change the maximum this will be blank. So I'll make it again angel. I'll double click here and click the angel graphic. Now the cool thing about these graphics or, or this this uh, this tool here is you get a huge slider down here so you can take care of all your palette swaps right here in the game. You don't have to export this to a uh, uh, paint shop or Photoshop or anything like that. You can do all your palette swapping here. This was a tactic used in many a role playing game to kind of save time by having one monster you meet earlier in the game and then the next time you meet it it has a different color and it may, might be a little stronger but that's how they did it they just changed the colors and you can do that as well but I'm gonna leave it as is I'm gonna leave all this as is I'm not uh, really all that worried about it I, I'm just making this for the purposes of the tutorial and that's how you add an enemy and of course if you don't like what you made you can right click and hit clear uh, same with any of these and there are more graphics than RPG Maker made enemies for, so feel free to experiment with those. So, making enemies is one thing, but having them organized in a troop is what actually makes them appear on the battlefield. So let's click the Troops tab. And you can see the Angel Troop is selected because I recently made it, but I'll pull up the Slime Times 2. This is a very common troop. And if you wanted to add different monsters to this. It's real easy. Uh, RPG Maker VX Ace makes it very, very easy to add or remove monsters from troops. Just go over here to the enemy list, pick an enemy that you want, I'm going to keep a slime, and hit add. Now there's three slimes. You want to take one away, hit remove. Now there's two again. It's that simple. To add another troop, just like we did with enemies. Go down here and hit change maximum. Increase it by the number of troops you want to create. You'll get a blank troop here. And you can name it Bat 
we're gonna name it bat and rat so click bat hit add they RPG maker spelled rat rate no big deal so now we have a bat and a rat and that's really all you need and that's it, it, it's that simple I mean it's not uh, really difficult so now that we've made some enemies we've made some troops let's put them on the battlefield and make sure that we put them in the right areas so for map one open up the map properties again and as you can see I've already added some encounters I'm gonna delete those now and do it with you so the first couple of encounters I want are ones that affect just the grass areas or anywhere else that's not already defined in this case it'll be the grass it will be anywhere that's not the desert the forest or the rocky area so to add a troop double click here you'll get the slime one by deep or slime times two by default it's listed in numerical order and that's fine and we want it to ap apply to the whole map I'll explain more about the uh, weight here in a little bit and we'll do the same thing with the bat and rat and the angel oops I'm down here now right now this is what's going to be on the battlefield everywhere but that's not what we want like I said before so I want to have some desert appropriate monsters in the desert so I'm gonna put scorpion there's a scorpion times three in there and think of weight as percentage right now if I leave it as is you'll get a 10 percent chance of scorpions but in the desert I want it to only be scorpions I don't want the slimes or the bats or the angels to get into the desert it kinda of helps you differentiate you know put a clear line as to what monsters you'll face in certain areas so I'm gonna make this 100 percent if you had two different kinds of monsters in the desert then you might do 50 50 or 60 40 but it has to equal 100 percent or you'll get some of these other monsters in there so just keep that in mind and you want to specify by region idea desert was region number one and there you go next I want spiders in the desert seem or not in the desert in the forest seems a pretty logical place for them to go so 100 percent specify by region ID number two and for region three I am going to use the ogre just for the purposes of this tutorial now another question I get is how do I change the background of the fight scenes to match the terrain good news RPG maker does this for you automatically you don't have to do it yourself if you don't believe me hover over to specify battle background and you'll see in the pop-up it says when not specified a background conforming to the terrain is automatically selected for fields so there you go we're on a field map currently and that's a pretty common uh, type of map to use so that's it I mean we're pretty much done with this so we've specified our areas we've gone over how to add enemies and troops to the database and we've also used those new enemies in the map properties as well as specifying the different monsters for different regions let's try it out real fast now for now I'm just gonna I'm only gonna go into the desert just for the sake of time to make sure that we see scorpions because that's all we should see in there and there you go three scorpions and you can see that the background is a desert like I said RPG maker did the work for us so that's it uh, that, that's pretty much as simple as it gets uh, in the later tutorials I'll go over how to do things inside of buildings or dungeons or other places because there's a little bit more work involved but as far as your field maps this is really all you have to do just keep in mind that you have to specify the areas using the region editing tool and then you have to uh, you have to use 
the encounters, when you add a new encounter, you have to specify by region ID. So, what's in store for next week's video? Well, I have a few ideas, but I want to hear from you. So leave me a comment and let me know what you're, what, what you're, uh, what you're looking for, and I'll be sure to address it in a future video. Uh, like I said, we covered a lot today, and this answers a lot of questions, hopefully. But if it doesn't, leave me a comment. And tell your friends to uh, check this out if they're looking for ways to uh, use the region editing tool to change the monster encounters on your maps. I want to thank you again for watching. I'm Venthros. I'll see you next week.